Hello, my name is Hannah Hurdle, and I'm the Library eLearning Specialist at Alcama Library here at UA Little Rock. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the free tool, PHET Interactive Simulations, which can be used by faculty and students. PHET Interactive Simulations is a project created at the University of Colorado Boulder. It was founded in 2002 by Nobel laureate Carl Weinman and began with Wyman's vision to improve the way science is taught and learned by students. PHET Interactive Simulations is a nonprofit open educational resource project that creates, creates and hosts explorable explanations. PHET Interactive Simulations provides interactive and research-based science and mathematics simulations. The simulations give users specific guidance, include multiple representations, numbers, graphs, object motion, et cetera, and are designed using real world connections. Now I'm gonna go, going to take you through the OER slash open access tool, PHET interactive simulations. So you can see how to navigate it, view the type of content found there, as well as see what resources are available to assist student learning. So let me share my screen really quick. Review. So you can access PHET interactive simulations by going to phet.colorado.edu. And on their website, uh, you can look at interactives, interactive simulations for physics, chemistry, math, earth sciences, and biology. They have 159 interactive simulations, 105 language translations, and 3,144 teacher submitted lessons. So if you create an account, you could submit lessons to PHET interactive simulations. So you can explore the sims by um, coming up here and selecting one of the disciplines, selecting the explore our sims button, or you can click one of these icons and it go ahead and filters it for you. So we are currently, um, filtered just for physics. You can go to chemistry, math, earth sciences, or biology. You can filter by grade level, compatibility. So they have HTML, Java, Flash. You can uh, use their access and inclusion filters or um, by language. So we're currently limited to English. The access to inclusion filters, you can see which simulations have any of these using these colorful icons. So some of them don't have any, some of them have all of them, some of them have a couple. So you know which ones are more accessible than others. And then these little icons tell you what the compatibility is. So this one is HTML5. This one's HTML5 prototype. Most of these seem to be HTML5. So let's select one of the simulations. So we have some photos of what the simulation looks like. We have the topics, this will focus on density, mass, volume. We have some sample learning goals. It talks about the inclusive and accessible feature. So this one can pan and zoom. They have the system requirements. This one's HTML5. They include related simulations that they think students or faculty might um, also be interested in since you're looking at the density simulation. You can view their training resources. So you have to sign in to view this, but this is a, um, a handout that you can download. They have an activity. They have the different translations and then credit is listed. So let's go to the simulation. And again, these are interactive, so you can um, choose what kind of simulation you want. You can um, change um, for this one if you're going to deal with wood, styrofoam, ice. You can customize it. So let's do styrofoam. We can change the mass, the volume. We can compare, so we have styrofoam compared to wood. 
Again, we can change the mass and volume for that. You can go down here and do a different. So you have a bunch of blocks that you can play around with. You can do a mystery option and view the table density. So you have different options for these simulations. Let's go back. So we did one for physics. Let's view a chemistry. So some of them have overlap. So the chemistry and the physics one, both density falls under that. Let's go to Let's do a balloons and static electricity. So we have the same um, information here. This one has more accessibility features. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you what those features are. This is just another way for students to engage with. Um, so some of them have sound. Um, this is just a way for students to engage with um, class content and learn in a different, more hands-on way. They can visualize class information better. These are good for any science courses or math, because we have some math. Um, so they have some that deal with fractions, arithmetic. Let's do one's fraction. So this one's dealing with equality. So you can do an equality lab or you could do a game. So some of them do have games that you can play. Um, so they're matching. So some of them are a much lower level than others. So again, you can um, limit by grade level. So some of them are university level, some are much lower level. You have our science. So again, that density falls under this. So there is um, some overlap. The students can just see how these concepts work. So this could be something that students view on their own or in a class. So it just depends on how you would want to use these. So lastly, let's do a biology. So this one's on color vision. We do a single bulb, RGB bulbs. This helps students understand how Same color works. A human being's view color, you can reset it. So those are the different simulations and disciplines available. They also have um, teaching, so they have tips for using PHET interactive simulations. So they have some resources for um, some videos. You can um, browse activities this way. If you create an account, you can share your own activities and there'll be a list. They have virtual workshops. They have research that's been done uh, about PHET interactive simulation. So you can see how other people have used this for a chemistry class. Um, education, research on in-class use, um, important features, things like that. Let's go back to, oh, you can also let me, you click on all simulations, you can browse this way so you can just filter through. Um, so they have different ways that you can search depending on how you like to look for information.
So those are um, the major features. Actually, let me. Forgot to show you can you can download the simulations and you can also they have embed code so you can save these copy to a clipboard. Um, so you also have that option as well. So let me stop sharing real quick. PHET Interactive Simulations truly has so much to offer faculty, students, and course instruction. Not only does it promote the use of open educational resources in student learning, but it also provides students with an alternate way to access course information in a cheaper and more accessible way. If you would like more assistance with finding applicable interactive simulations for your courses from PHET Interactive Simulations, or would like more information on locating open educational resources for your courses in general, please reach out to me at hfhurdle at ualr.edu or one of the other librarians in students at the .com library. It's also important to note that PHET Interactive Simulations was found using OER Commons, which is an open educational resource available for everyone. It's a free tool. So if you're interested in finding or exploring some more OER on your own, it is a good place to start.